Welcome to Share Science. In our last video, we shared an island song wondering what manatees dream about when they are grazing on seagrass. If you didn't see it, you should go check it out. Today, you're going to dive with a manatee right in your own house. Let's find out how. Here's what we'll need. Find yourself an empty water bottle with the label removed, a small dropper that can fit inside the bottle, a tray for spills, and a jug of water. If you wanted to make your dropper into a cute manatee diver, you'll also need some oil-based clay. You have to make sure it's not water-based clay since that would end up dissolving in your waiter and making a murky mess. If you're not sure, you can follow the link in the notes to buy Plastalina clay. That worked really well for us. We start by filling our empty bottle with water. Make sure you leave a bit of room at the top for your diver. Take your dropper and squeeze the bulb end to fill it partially with water. Then drop it into your bottle. If it sinks to the bottom, you'll have to get it out and try again, leaving more air in your dropper. Experiment a bit to get comfortable with buoyancy. With your diver prepped, put the cap on to seal things up and give the bottle a squeeze. You should see your diver float toward the bottom of the bottle, like magic. Release the pressure, and the diver should float back to the top. If your diver isn't moving up and down like you expect, this is where you may need to experiment a bit more to get the amount of air in the diver just right. Now that we have the mechanics of our diver figured out, we can have some fun and make your diver into a manatee. Take the dropper out of your bottle and mold your plastilina clay around it until you've got your very own diving manatee. Remember that, because we're adding more weight to the dropper, with clay on the outside, you'll probably need more air inside to keep your diver buoyant. Try it out and have fun with it. And here's a video of the Cartesian diver at work from our friends at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Science. As he squeezes the bottle, the pressure squeezes the air trapped in the dropper and our diver sinks. When the pressure is released, the air expands and our diver floats. This is also how manatees move up and down in the water column as well. They can squeeze their strong muscles to compress their lungs to sink to the bottom where they eat, and when they need more air, they relax and simply float to the top. Isn't that neat? We hope you liked today's video. Manatees are such amazing creatures that live in Florida's waterways, and it's so much fun to learn about how they use pressure to move down in the water to forage and back up when they need to breathe. Let us know how your Cartesian diver experiment went in the comments. And remember, you can hit that subscribe button to get more content just like this in your feed automatically.